Hello, my dear friends. Let us go ahead with this co-cubes model paper. Okay, now co-cubes become ion. Now, okay, you can see when you open the test, it's the right. So here, one good advantage with co-cubes model paper is navigation between sections is allowed. Okay, navigation between sections. You can move from one section to other section. Few test platforms don't allow this. In GoCubes and Iron Test Platform, navigation between sections alone. Okay, and you can navigate between questions. Suppose you started first question, you want to go for the last question. Yes, navigation between questions also alone. Few test platforms, once you attend first question, then only you can go for the second question. So navigate navigation between questions alone, navigation between sections alone, and Timing is shared, okay. Shared timing is the suppose first question you save some time, you can use it for second question. It's overall section times, okay. Overall time duration is there, not for section wise. We have overall time duration, okay. Not for question wise, not for section wise. Entire, okay. Three sections together or four sections together, they'll be the overall time duration. It's a good advantage deal. If you are taking the test in CoCube's test platform, it's a good advantage for you. But all flexible. It's like normal on paper test what you are doing. On paper, you can move from one question to other question. You can move from section to other sections. Like that, there is a good flexibility in CoCube's test platform. Now today, we we'll focus on the previous questions or model of questions which they are asked in CoCube so that you will get the better idea before taking the test, my dear friend. And majority of the companies they are using now CoCubes test platform to conduct their assessment test. So and CoCubes is linked with many MNCs, right? So getting good score in Co as early as possible, right? Now see flow chart concept, my dear friends. Okay, flow chart. You can see in reasoning. Okay, generally two questions we can expect. In reasoning from flow chart, the topics whatever you mentioned, you need to focus more on this area. Reasoning around two questions we can expect from flow chart. Right here, if you observe the question, my dear friends, you can pass the video, try to solve the question, understand, then you can play the video. See here, we have ten boxes. Each box is having certain value, right? And they given certain steps. This is a part of the flow chart, not full flow chart. Three, then here, okay. Remaining steps are given, right? Then they'll ask questions related to that. At the end of entire scenario, what is there in box one? What is there in box two? Like that, they're asking the question. So, guys, now let's see the first step. Try to understand the first step they given here. Go through the first step. What were they mentioned? So, first step here is. Number in box five, which is thirteen, plus number in box ten, which is twelve, and then number in box two, twenty-five. We got fifty, right? Adding all this, now that should be replaced in box six. We need to put this in box six. Box six is actually two, but now adding all these values: number in box five, number in box ten, and number in box two. We replace box six as fifty. Okay, then number in box six is it greater than number in box four? Yes. Okay, yes means we have to go for the next step. If it is no, we can skip and go for the last. So we have to solve the third step as well. See the condition. See the flow chart. How the steps are moving. Next condition is number in box six less than number in box eight. No right. So if it is yes, so again I have to go and repeat. It's no. I have to go for the next step. No means here. Here yes we got. Here no we got. We are moving to the next step. Third step completed. We entered here. Now directly we have to do fifth step here. No need to go for the fourth step because okay fourth step when you will get second step this condition failed. Okay if the number in box six is not greater than means then directly we will go for the fourth step. Now, after third step, you are moving to fifth step, my dear friends. In fifth step, what they given? Number in box one. 
number in box 1 is 10 minus number in box 3 number in box 3 is 6 okay fine then number in box 6 is 15 we save now if we do subtraction here we got minus 56 plus 10 minus 46 will come so number in box 9 this should be changed in box 9 we have to change this in box 9 So box nine become minus. You can minus forty six. Now at the end of the question, what they are asking? What number is stored in box one at the end of the flow chart? Box one. Okay, we didn't perform box one anyhow. It is not changed because here box six. Then after that first step, you went to second step. Second step condition true. Then we went to third step. Third step fail. Okay. Directly fifth step. Box one not changed. So box one ten is the same thing. Then I ask you what is the number in box nine, box six at the end of the flow. Then is number six. Is greater than number in box two. In box two also we didn't disturb any anything. Box two is twenty-five now. Is it greater? Yes or no? We have to say. If it is yes, we will go for options. Chart. What value is stored in box nine? This change right? So they can ask you what is stored in box nine. Ask many questions, but you can find many questions in every set here. In general, is it flow chart related? Like this, they can give a flow chart and they'll give certain conditions. You need to execute step by step, step by step, and then if you observe, okay, we got <coughs> two questions done with that. More here, so I hope you understand these two. Now I'll just play the next two questions, my dear friends. In general, they'll ask only okay two questions, but I'm adding few more here. Let us see about the. The third question, let's say, then they may ask you what is the number stored in. Except, yeah, box six changes, box nine changes, box one is. In the flow chart, okay, we applied for the given, and we came to know we perform. It's not changing, right? Guys, are understanding this? Good. This is flow chart related one question. Going forward, we'll discuss other set of questions related to flow chart as well. All right. Now let's move forward. Next question, my dear friends. Letter series or number series, we can expect one question. Letter series or number series, with you can expect one question from this area. One question from letter series or number series, we can expect. And this is very easy question anyhow for you. If there is some typing mistake, let me correct that. And now you can see first two letters. If you observe A B C D E F G H I J, so first two letters should be I and J. Last letter, how to identify? W U is the yes, C is the my dear friends should should be Q. But it's actually I J Q some type of error, but correct answer is I J Q. 
okay this is 25 if you convert that letters into numbers you can say 25 23 21 19 two is 17 okay i j two is required right so when you do uh, this series this is very basic question find them coding and decoding you can expect a question letter series number series you can expect a question right now this is in quant quantitative aptitude okay in quant related time and distance question my dear friends quant time and distance related question with a speed of 15 km per hour you can reach the office 9 minutes late okay but if you increase the speed next day with 21 km per hour you are reaching the office 6 minutes early right now they are asking distance okay from home to office okay now if you go 15 km per hour you are reaching it. but when you go 21 km per hour you reach early now see what you can do for this question is time concept is when speed increase this is only when distance is constant this time saving distance is increase the speed time take definitely decreases that formula in this case we have speeds product speeds product divided by speeds a different time gain a time save a time save to 21 difference is 6 into Now the opposite poles will act. Nine and six, fifteen minutes. You are gaining as speed is you gain the fifteen minutes. So fifteen minutes. I am converting divide by sixty to convert into hours. This is in minutes. We are converting into hours divided by sixty. Right now, this calculation will give the answer. So fifteen ones, fifteen fours, three two times, three five times. Right, so it's one not five divided by h, one not five divided by h. So one not five divided by h, eight thirteen times one not four, one divided by h is one point point one two five. So option D is best suitable or correct option here. Thirteen point one two five kilometers is the distance. This is the shortcut. Okay, during the regular sessions in basics. Related to time and distance, you can find okay time saving concept or time gain concept. Time gain, okay, you can find there we derive this formula as well. Okay, right now it is uh, we can say go through how to do the approach within one minute how to go ahead with the question. Right, so it's thirteen point one two kilometers. So go my dear friends. Now see the next question. chain rule time and work related question chain rule time and work related we can say it's a chain rule question so guys here they are time and work chain rule related stuff time and work chain rule related so what is chain rule okay m1 d1 h1 e1 upon w1 equal to m2 d2 H2E2 upon W2. M is nothing but how many members. D is number of days. H is number of hours per day they are working. E is efficiency. E is efficiency. This is constant. 
a 24 woman with 24 men comments in 18 days working trip is okay working 12 hours per day right so right, 12 two times Three six ten. So D is in number twenty four days. Building wall. Right. So this is saying to there is two different groups of people are doing. Look, a number of people are hours per day. Hours per day. So this is how you can see your friends. Average speed, average speed. What is average speed? If you recall, in short, we can say is average speed is total distance divided by total time. No need of any other formulas to add on. Okay, the speed is distance by time. Average speed is total distance divided by total time. Total distance you are going to travel is 240 and 660, which is 900 kilometers. Total distance is 900 kilometers. So timing is not given. Timing is not given directly. Not given directly, but indirectly we have the timing you observe. Time is distance by speed. First, you travel 240 kilometers with 48 kilometer per hour. That's the timing. 240 kilometers with 40 kilometer per hour. Then 660 kilometers with 50 kilometer per hour. These are the timings. How many hours will you? So if you just work 900 kilometers, this calculation is like uh, 12 four times, 12 20 times. 20 by 4 is 5, by 12 times, uh, by 13 times 65, 13.2 we got, it's 900 divided by 18.2, if it is 900 divided by 18, 1850 times 900, it is bit more or less than 18.2 means we should get less than 50, I think if you work on, we will get 47.5. Okay, if you do that calculation, so we will get 47.5 kilometer per hour. How to get less than 500? Because if it is 18 in denominator, less than 50, sorry. 1850 times we got 900. Okay, but denominator is more than 18, so numerator should be less than 50 and close enough. And it should be close enough, so we got 47.5 kilometer per hour. Average speed. Right. Calculations you can cross check. I find 13.2, 18.2. Good. So fine. We'll move for the next one, my dear friends. Among options, close enough is 47.2. This Okay, let's see the calculations in depth as well. Okay, this can be written as 9000 divided by 182. It's fine. This is 91. This is 4500. Close to 50 we should get because fine, we can say approximately 50. It may be 49.5 it seems. I'm sensing it's like 49.5 close to that. Okay, not too much difference. It should be close to 49.8, not the 47.8 seems. 